March 17, 2021. My name is Thomas Wigan. I'd like to tell you about how what are the good traits of being a good landlord. Now, how understanding that if you're renting out to your property to tenants, you need to understand these values. And one of them is very simple, about respect. Now, the good traits of a landlord, yes. Number one is that you be respectful to your tenants, communicating properly, having clear expectations. Number two, you build trust. You're building up trust with your tenants. You are trusting your tenants to go with your expectations, acknowledge your expectations, live your expectations, and make them aware of violated expectations. You need to understand that if you want to have have a good success as on renting property, being a good landlord, then yes. You want to be very careful with who you choose your tenant with your tenants. Hence. Number three, your expectations need to be realistic. Like for example, whole if any damages has uh, happened, I expect my tenants to pay for it. it or I'm, I'm going to double all your security deposit. It. Or another way of saying like this. If you, if you don't clean this up, clean up the damages, I'm going to be seeing you in court. What? <laughs> Making sure that number three, if you you're not smoke, if you're not a smoker, uh, then and make make them aware, saying that, sir, as a landlord, I'm allergic to tobacco products, and I appreciate you not smoking in in my house. That's number three. And also make them aware. Of, had a tea, had tea. You don't mind giving them written instructions. Number four, understanding the value of being fair, respectful, fair and respectful. So, another part of expectations is that you communicate with your landlord. That's the tenant's responsibility. Like, the tenants have to ask, the, tell the landlord that they won't be able to pay their rent because as they lost their job, they haven't been able to work, that's okay. You still need to talk to your landlords. And the landlord's responsible all for accepting that. That's also a very important. Number five, being a landlord is a job. A real, or it can be seen as property management. You don't need a degree. You do not need a degree to be a, a manager, to be a landlord. But what you need is money, some land, and skill, skills. You need all three of those. Money, land, and skills of being, being a landlord. Because, as if you're gonna go with the first time, guess what? You, I suggest you plan properly. So. Oh yes, do. But what you should not do. Who, if you want to support someone, is that. To, I'm saying that to being a landlord is not realistic. Well, being a landlord is part of being realistic, but it takes time to build that discipline. And so those, so that's definitely something you need to rethink. I definitely think that it's bad, bad, bad that you who rethink and that you respect. So, understand what you say, tend you don't want to ever drag people down of life.
like thinking that there's no way you're gonna be a landlord. Guess what? You need to build that discipline if you want to be a landlord. You need to save your money, not eating out too much, much, and that's all. So please comment, like, rate, share, subscribe, and discuss.